What's up, you guys? Hope you're having a fantastic day. We're diving back into Hogwarts Legacy. And uh, yeah, after getting all of our school supplies together to start our dark dreams, we're going to go see Professor Hecate now, maybe learn something new, begin getting our way to learning some really bad spells. I'm going to have so much anxiety. Sorry, sorry. Not bad. Real fun spells. Mm -hmm. That makes it better. <laughs> so yeah, we're going to see Go see Professor Hecate today. Maybe, you know, do some side quests if there's some available. And probably go visit Professor Fig again, I think. So, yeah. Let's get into it. You know, we always say what we're going to do in the beginning. And then never it just never happens. happens. So we should just maybe yeah, yeah. Join us for everything, nothing of what we said. <laughs> oh, I'm only level five. I'm two levels behind you. Damn. Three levels. I'm you're it. Oh, and this is probably about the point where our paths are going to start to deviate between mine and Julie's. So, <clears throat> so far our playthroughs have been fairly similar on events. Mm -hmm. I think we're going to start to see some deviation now and some differences between stories. Yeah, yeah. Why does your hair look so funny? Rude. Oh, I forgot my glasses. Oh, right. Oh, <laughs> man, that was so funny. <laughs> what? <laughs> Oh, I got new spectacles. <laughs> We're not going to be as good. Oh, there's a kitty in the common room. Hello, kitty. Oh, but you're not in the common room. Where are you? I'm in uh, some room. <laughs> no. I wish they would have put a chonker kitty in here. Yeah, big old chonker. And I don't feel like an abandoned one. Okay. Big old chonkosaurus like save room. Oops, I'm quest. Okay, got this one, and there's cross ones. All right. Secrets of the restricted section. Oh, that sounds naughty. Mm -hmm. Sounds Thanks. like the adult section. For sure, they don't have that in school. I don't know. There's a bunch of teachers that work here, and they're all by themselves for long periods of time. I wonder if they have a teacher library. They all just share some some inappropriate books with each other. <laughs> Long year. <laughs> Got all the sultry books. Instead of Daniel steals, Daniel steal hard. Like some kind soul help me. I just, I'm, I'm just genuinely curious. Like, do they do the do the teachers go home? Revelio. I don't think so. I don't think so. Because I've seen the students. They're probably from far away. Hebridian black skeleton. This large dark skeleton. Oops, dark. This large dragon skeleton, been a long day. Long, dark. That hangs in the defense against the dark <laughs> arts classroom is allegedly a trophy taken by Professor Hecate after she single handedly defeated one of the largest poaching rings in eastern Wales during the Great Poacher Raid of 1878. This girl's a badass. That's nice. One breath. Good job. Ah, smoke in. I'm here about the new spell you wanted to teach me, Professor. Good. Professor Fig indicated a certain urgency to you completing your defensive magic assignments. As such, you are to learn Incendio, the fire-making spell. Is this Handy an incredible fire torches, between the two of us? Burning away spider webs. Flames. And when the heat. necessary, defending against those who would wish to do us harm. That sounds Poorly. versatile. What? But before we get started, I'd like here. you to complete a few <laughs> tasks. You may be Look at the eyes behind her. Mine is not any worse. How much students don't Duché. think the professors know. She apparently likes eyes. So come and see me. Maybe then I brought something good. I mean, yeah, 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 sure. You know where to find me once you've finished. Crossed ones. Seems I've always told ones never cross the secrets. It's believed to be it's something else. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder why that song isn't uh, restricted. Uh, classical music often isn't. Really? Mm -hmm. oh, cool. Old classical music. I didn't know that. Mm -hmm. I so think, we like, could use that in our videos. It should be okay. Like Mozart and Beethoven, I'm pretty sure. Revelio. Huh. Whee! What the? Oh, oh yeah, I thought that was you making that noise. I, I thought was it was like, me dude. too. I'm like, wow, that was a change of pace. The haunted toilets. Mm. 
Unless in dire straits, it is probably best to avoid this particular toilet as it is alleged one of P's favorite pranking spots. Did I tell you about P's in the toilet when we were in the bathroom downstairs? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, I was like, P's toilet, and it was when shooting up, I was like, <gasps> this is the toilet. I can't get into the one that he's in, it's locked. Whoa. There's sweets in that toilet. Nah. I mean, I get trying to. There's pillows. There's books. Someone's, Someone's literally studying in here and just eating and just like not leaving this place. I mean, yeah. I mean, fair. That was a horrible. Life. But this is this is where the this is where the chamber of secrets is. It's in one of these things. Probably it's in a bathroom that has sinks like that. It's probably in the one that's locked. I thought they. Oh, I really wish they would have worked on these. Worked on the mirrors. Yeah. The mirror. The, the, go back. Look at the mirror. Huh, wait. Okay. That thing was talking to you. <laughs> I'm sure it was. No, it was. I'm serious. <laughs> Shut sure up. Was. Okay. It was. Yeah, it was. You're right. It totally was. Absolutely. I want a divorce. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Whoa. What you call real dark? We good? Whoa. Is everybody okay? <laughs> did, did, did we just have a, an eclipse? We're all gonna die now? Are the Death Eaters coming? What are we doing here? <laughs> I'm glad you could make it. Lucan's just over there. Can I help you? Yeah, I want to battle you. Can we battle? <gasps> we gotta talk to him first. Sebastian told me. So you can't just jump in front of him. It's Sebastian vouches for you. That's all I need to know. I coordinate a duel. Sebastian and I are getting real close. A dueling club of sorts. It's invitation only, so you must have really impressed Sebastian. I did take him down a bit. I seem to have a knack for dueling. Then you've come to the right place. How does cross ones work exactly? You show up. I match you with other duelists. And whoever is still standing in the end wins. Cool. It's our way of determining the school's greatest duelist once and for all. And to liven things up, the winner is awarded a prize. Interested? Um, yeah, if it's free, I'm interested, of course. Of course. That is your MO. Yeah. <laughs> it's an entertaining pastime. I agree. Besides, in Cross Ones, you can duel with a partner if you like. Your first time I'll pair you with Sebastian. Next time, you'll need to bring a partner along. Or jewel alone. So, care to step into the ring? Um, Get me in the yeah. ring. Spectacular! Let the fireworks begin! Oh, you saw me with Professor Hecate too, huh? No. <laughs> we'll make you regret signing up. That's such a bad attitude to have. We'll make you regret signing Yeah. Yeah. I think she uh, doesn't like the new people. Yeah, no kidding. She's like... corner this girl stood up nice and then she went oh and fell back down to her knees there's strong competition ahead but keep when she this realized up, how strong it was it just overcame her and she just Brilliant. became like count me in oh. i shall i'm sure that's in what fact, that the second was. jewel is ready when you are bothered. and as a fully that's initiated member you it. now have access to the official crossed ones it's training dummy you're so very good way to master spell combinations come and see me and i'll set it up Again, congratulations on your first Crossed Ones victory. Well fought. Thanks, Landon. Hope to see you back here again. Is that his name? Sure. Lucan. Lucan's his name. You just don't care. You're just calling him by any L name. That's so rude! <laughs> of course. I'll fetch it and give you a list of combinations to practice. <laughs> you caught up pretty quick. Ready to have a try now? 
<laughs> I am. That would be wonderful. Be sure to cast all your spells before the dummy lands. If you need to stop practicing before you finish all of them, let me know. That was not okay. <laughs> you guys are here. Excellent form. Good one. I know. Just for a finishing touch. I'd say that's enough. Practice. I hate that you got that on the first you try. It was so hard for me. Thank you, Lucan. <clears throat> I say better to discover one's weaknesses during practice than during a duel. You'll be a fearsome challenger now. All right, let's uh, let's get this. Let's get the shindig going. Hello, Lucan. Is the next round of crossed ones all set? Why, yes, it is. I've got a great match lined up. Ready for another round? I'm ready. Let's do it. Brilliant. Are you dealing with a partner? I don't need a partner. I'll be dueling solo. Then let's get to it. I do everything on my own. Ready to get thrashed? Even that. That's not to anything to be proud of. <laughs> <clears throat> Oh, really nice dodge. What the heck? I didn't count. Stick counted. Oh, well, you were on the ground. How the heck? I didn't know you could attack from that. Stop with your Lumos. You were doing so well. What happened? I got attacked from the ground somehow. Did she uh, throw you off? Still three versus one. That was, you know. You should always be prepared. Bravo! A good duelist is always prepared. I always have protection. You did indeed. The other duelists have already I'm taken notice of you. Myself. Yeah, you but are. But after that last <laughs> round, they'll really have it in for you. You'd better keep practicing if you want a chance at winning, <laughs> or at least surviving the next round. I'll let you know when You're we're ready. You're gonna set a new record in the Hope first 20 minutes. Then. The next round is for all the gobstones, so to speak. Assignment's all finished. Like a nomad hat. Oh, you gotta try that on. If it's not level seven. With your frog eyes. Wait. Revelio. Accio. Oh, I see it. I see that chest. Oh, I see another chest. Nice. Oh, scarf. I've been, I've been really, really slacking on the. Uh, oh. 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 All right. What is nighttime? It is. What time is it? There doesn't seem to be. No time. Well, I guess there's no time in the wizard world. Is but a feeling, an emotion. So, could you realistically just stay up all night? I mean, I would. Well, it doesn't seem much quieter at night. There's less people walking around. Mm hmm. Everybody's in their common rooms. Might some kind soul help me? 
I trust Mr. Brattleby was able to accommodate you. I finished all of the tasks you gave me, Professor Hackett. Glad to hear it. Do you like my new then ensemble? you should be ready to learn Incendio. Should be, Professor. Yes. Anyone acknowledge I'm it? sorry to say yeah, I visited in enough <laughs> careless <laughs> colleagues at St. Mungo's to assure you <clears throat> that fire is a fickle servant. Your spell casting has impressed me thus far, but please maintain focus. That's I would funny. rather we not I, end I like today's lesson carrots, with so. your robes aflame. Let us begin. And remember, focus on the proper wand movement. Concentrate and keep your wand steady. Light this place up. Good work. A few targets for you. Incendio. Getting it. Keep at it. And do try not to incinerate yourself. Well, it's gonna recharge time, right? Why does it stop the breaking crystal? Setting things ablaze is certainly cathartic, isn't it? Oh, somebody's into lighting things on fire. I see. Mm -hmm. I mean, she did take a she did take down a whole ring of poaching by herself. True. If only a new student would help me. No time. Too she long. Had, didn't read. Too long. Didn't read. She had exactly the personality for someone who'd light fire. <laughs> Perch. Two crittens? Three okay. crittens! Three crittens? Oh, oh my goodness. I'm so lucky. He's so cute. Kind of like Fen. Remember when Fen had a white tip on his tail? Yeah. And then he lost it. He lost it. No. The purring is so spot on, and then that meow. Like, wh what cat did you take that meow from? Because, like, maybe maybe take it to the vet. I want that cat. You want the cat so that goes, adorable. Meow. Yes. So sad. He's just stoic. He's just a stoic kitty. Just a Rebellion. stoic kitty. Professor! Oh, am I gonna go wait in his office again? Sit on the floor and he's gonna walk right by me and not see me? Yep. That's exactly what's gonna happen. Ah, there you are. Yep. And suddenly it's daylight. I've been here for a very long time. He just slept on his floor. Great. That's a different one. Revelio. Look at his chest. Elf made ivory gloves. Uh, he's got a skull on his, uh, on his... Where's his skull? On his... It's a human skull, too. Looks that way? It's like a oh, he's big got a, human. Like a, a decanter skull thing, too. Ooh. I feel like it's good someone should just put his hand in his mouth and... Well, there's another skull. Look up. Like that way? That way? Right there. What is that? I have no idea. Well, let's not face off against that. Sounds good to me. Nice. <laughs> One heck of an outfit. Yeah, it's something else. Hello, sir. You'll be pleased to know that I worked on my defensive magic with Professor Hackett. So I hear. She tells me you've taken rather well to your new wand. You must continue to work with her and your other professors to improve your skills. That said, I don't wish to postpone our visit to the library any longer. Nice. So, shall we proceed? Yes. Fig, I have work for you. Damn Come. it. 
Headmaster, I'm with a student and my schedule. Your schedule will time. wait indefinitely, as will your student. I would think that after all the trouble you caused me with Osric, you'd be eager to make amends. My office, five minutes. Jeez. Could have sent a Patronus. Yeah. Can't do it. Would be surprised. <laughs> Dude, like that has no our happiness trip to the in him. Restricted him. section will have to wait a bit longer. But Professor, we have no choice. It would be unwise to provoke our illustrious headmaster further. Maybe that's why he I has shall such find hatred. you when I've completed Maybe. whatever toils I must one. endure. I have to walk around because I can't cast Patronus. <laughs> to go summon people myself. All right. Remember when Rebellion. you touch Sebastian, it's going to trigger going to the library. And that's where I ended. Okay, so I can't do that then. <gasps> Silver leaf. That's pretty. What was that? Botanical. Collectible, I think. Bilio. Maybe the flower. One handles. <gasps> it's a one handle. Mm. So can you can you use it? Card floral handle design in dark gray with silver vine leaves. Cosmetic alterations applied to your one via the gear menu. <gasps> you can. <sighs> oh, I can't. No. Oh my goodness, it's so pretty. It's not very evil, but it'll do for now. I want it. Where did we <clears throat> find it? I'm gonna go look for it. At uh, Professor Figs. Rebellion. There's the goodies hidden all over Hogwarts. What's this? I need to do better. Professor oh. Fig. As if my schedule wasn't congested enough, the Ministry has charged me with arranging the rather inconvenient arrival of a new student at Hogwarts. A fifth year, if you can believe. Professor Weasley insists that they need an escort and a mentor to help them acclimatize before term begins. I have assigned the task to you. Please see Professor Weasley for details. Whoa. Professor Phineas Nigelis Black, Headmaster. Thanks for asking. <clears throat> yep. Voluntold. We've been together too long. Rebellion. Yeah, we have. <laughs> it makes me really happy. <clears throat> We're always on the same wavelength of things, and it just like the invention's it's my favorite the thing. <laughs> section. Perhaps he'll have an idea. Well. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, that was erratic. <laughs> yeah. And you think my driving isn't like my walking. I wonder if you might be able to help me with a oh, small... Oh, you, uh, Duncan. Project. You wanted to speak with me. I did. Hello, I'm Duncan Hobhouse. Pleasure to meet you. I've heard all about you, of course. Confronting trolls and dragons. Actually, the dragon confronted me. I didn't really want to. Oh, thank you. That's nice to hear. I have had my share of adventure. I hope my reputation's warranted. I'm going to presume your <laughs> reputation is in fact warranted. In which case, you are precisely the person I need. Yeah. You see, we were learning to repel boggarts in Professor Hecate's class, and, well, mine unfortunately took the shape of a, a puff scheme. <laughs> You're Surely you were joking. joking. You can't possibly be afraid of a puff scheme. It may seem irrational to you, but my experience with them has been most upsetting. They eat bogeys, you know. Regardless of how reasonable I believe my fear of puff schemes to be, okay. I'm beginning to get a reputation as a coward. Some have even taken to calling me Puff Skeen Dunkeen. Well, it's a little bit funny. Uh, I'm sorry, but you have to admit that's You're rather terrible. clever. I do not have to admit that. Everett said the same thing. Anyway, to make matters worse, I stupidly blurted out that I must be braver than people think since I have been in the Hidden Herbology Corridor. The Hidden Herbology Corridor? Yes. Rumor has it that the Herbology Professor before Professor Garlic kept dangerous plants there. It's supposedly so overrun now that no one dares enter it anymore. I was hoping you could go there and bring back evidence that I could use to show that... Well, I'd gone in. Say a bit of an exceptionally dangerous plant of some kind. Well, 
You're lucky that I'm very around. Well. If I'm in the area, perhaps I shall take a look. Well, but Bram, I can take care of this for I'd you. I very much appreciate it. Come and find me if you get the proof. I shall be forever in your debt. Forever? F forever in my debt. I'm I, uh, holding you to that. I wouldn't say things you don't mean, sir. Hmm. Hidden herbology corridor. Forever. Sounds intriguing. You could say he did not use his head well. Oh, jeez. Whoa! Whoa! Oh, my dude, did you see what you just did? Are you okay? You're kind of... You're, are you, you good? Hey! Did... I Did you... Did you have something... You didn't eat the plants, did you? He ate the plants. Oh, boy. Never eat the plants. He, now he thinks he's a famed dragon rider and he's trying to ride that dragon tree. <laughs> did you see the paper? Oh, no, I didn't. Rebellion! Ooh, I missed. Ha! Mine now! Level 7, nice. Incendio! This is for when it gets dark. I'm saving people's eyesights. Mm-hmm, sure you are. So that they may bow before me and know my power. These dry vines yeah, are one spark like away from the coming kindling. I didn't get to see any bees. You got to see bees. I got to see bees. The bees know. <laughs> they know what I'll do. This must be the entrance to the hidden herbology corridor. Devil's snare seems to thrive in darkness. Perhaps it doesn't care for light. Incendio! No more torches. Touched in any sort of way. It's my no no square. <laughs> yeah, the Delvish is a little bit harder to deal with than it looked, hey? Incendio! Not hiding any chests. Oh, what's that? Secrets? What's that? Just try to scream. Oh, hi, dude. What's up? What are you oh, boy. Oh, I'm sorry. I, I gotta go now. Oh, well, oh I didn't. I got double tap. Double tap. Yeah. Incendio. There we go. Oh. Let me get over there. You might not be able to get over there yet. Question. Can you jump across? I don't think so. Oh, oh you did it! Holy crap! Um, I don't know that that was meant to be that way. I don't know that that was meant to be that way. Definitely didn't work that time. Might have been a bit of a fluke. I think, yeah. Let me insert. It's ending. Oh, there's that. Oh, never mind. It's not a body. That's a statue. Hope it's not a body. That would be awful to imagine. No, horrible. There's a mirror. <laughs> Incendio. A little difficult to see if there's a light. Mm -hmm. Incendio. 
seems the devil's snare would protect from the chest of some kind. Ooh, I've got so much new clothing to wear. You really do. And yet you're choosing that. I'm going to be the belle of the ball. With your one frog eye? I'm not wearing my frog eye anymore. Oh, you're not wearing your frog eye anymore? No, I told you I switched to... Oh, right, right, right. I remember that. Switched to my new shades. That al is almost worse. Now I'm Tom Cruise. Look. I imagine a piece of that enormous venomous tentacular would be enough for Duncan to prove his bravery. Incendio. Ow! Stop it! Can not get to that one? When I'm more powerful, I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna destroy all of you. <laughs> Sad, sad thing. Okay. Oh, well, let's touch the flower. Because, you know, I was a person would ever get close to something like that. Yeah, I've seen a little shop of horrors. I know what that's about. Yep. I ain't about to live that life. I ain't about to live that life. I wonder if the next time you come down here, if they'll still be it's lit. lit. <laughs> Don't jump at the Just fire. Jump into the giant flesh eating monster mouth. <laughs> I too like to live dangerously. <laughs> oh, you got that. <laughs> the asylum mask, right? Uh, frig. <laughs> we can all be Bane. I do this for you, father! Rebellion. Careful, our friends watching may think you have daddy issues. <laughs> no, I didn't. No, I didn't. didn't. <laughs> Nothing could be farther from the truth. Farther! <laughs> daddy never loved me! <laughs> <laughs> daddy wasn't there. <laughs> It had to be said. That's funny. Rebellion. Dirigible plums. Oh, dir dirigible plums. You got a, you have a recipe for this. Nice. These orange radish-like fruit floats. <laughs> this orange radish-like fruit floats upside down as it grows. What? Wait. It floats upside down as it grows. Some believe it can enhance one's ability to accept the extraordinary. There should be a comma after fruit, I think. That's so cool. Look at them. The fact that it floats upside down just breaks all physics. Yeah, it's real cool. And it hurts my brain. Witchcraft. Witchcraft. And wizardry. Yeah. All right, Duncan. I've seen some stuff. I've seen some shit. Wouldn't recommend it. Worked through some things about my dad. Sort of. Sort of. Mine. That's the same door you had a problem with. <laughs> yeah. Just didn't want to open. It just does not like to open for people. Have you found anything to uh, prove my brain? Hello, Duncan. I have the proof you wanted. That's one leaf. Must have been a giant venomous tentacular. It's even more than I expected. 
I knew you were the one to ask. I appreciate you getting it for me. Oh. I'll, I'll, I'm, I'm, I'm going to give it to him, but it's only because I, I need I need allies. I hope this helps. When I take over the school. This is sure it's to put reason. an end to Puff's in dunking for good when I show everyone in the common room tonight. And this I'm hoping that means I get how allies. ridiculous that nickname was. Thank you again, and have a good day. To be fair, you don't want I know him I will. Ally. He's a coward. I know, but I'm hoping that he will Thank become less coward by help. me having to do this. No more puff scheme dunking for me. That didn't work in Crisis Core. It's not going to work here. I'm hoping. Better stand up when I call on you. Part of me wishes you had take the taken the other option to see what happens. But the other part of me is like, I'm going to have so much trouble with you making these bad choices. I know you are. And here at Couch Club Gaming, we don't believe in bullying. But for the sake of knowing the other part of the story. Mm -hmm. yep. And because I do love chaos. Yeah. Do love me some chaos. It's so true. And me, I just have anxiety about making bad choices ever. Hurting anybody's feelings. <laughs> even artificial people in a game. I feel <laughs> bad hurting their feelings. I know you do. <laughs> I don't <laughs> seek out to hurt people's feelings. But no. in a video game, I like to see what the devs were thinking otherwise. You can separate it. Mm -hmm. I can't. And yeah. I don't know. Except for running people over with my horse. That's whole. Yeah, thing. that's. Yeah. Yeah. If you don't think she likes to do bad things, go watch the Witcher episodes. Hey, I just run people over my house and they're fine. Mm -hmm. They are fine after Roach. They're fine. Yeah. Uh, this painting depicts the young orphan wizard Ilias, who famously saved his entire village from an army of Dementors and the dark wizard Radzidian by conjuring a mouse Patronus. You thought your little puppy was a bad. My basset hound was a bad. Yeah. Patronus. Yeah. You know, I'll take it over a mouse. <laughs> the girl whom everyone at school hates for no reason. Oh, Zenobia, what would you like me to do for you? Why does everyone hate everyone you? Everyone hates you. Why? Because Hogwarts is full of bullies and spoil sports. Leander Pruitt's one of the worst. The world that no talent of. moon mind. I wanted no to make some new mind. friends, and so I brought my collection down to the common room. My gobstone collection, that is. I was hoping someone would want to play. Are you familiar with gobstones? Little balls, like marbles. Grand game. Oh, you met and Duncan, you lose, have you? They spray you with a foul-smelling liquid. That was nice. Well, I mean, I mean, does it fit? He was afraid. I mean, yeah, but it wasn't nice. <laughs> Magnus is not nice. Um... Gobstone's interesting. Gobstones. Sounds like a fun challenge. That's what I tried to tell everyone. <sighs> People can be so cruel. Just because yes. they're sprayed all over with smelly gobstone spit, it's their own fault for losing. I mean, there's worse things to be sprayed. Imelda is one of the worst losers. Everett and Astoria are terrible as well. Astoria? Now those poor losers have taken my gobstones you missed that and the hidden first them. <laughs> I did and miss that. All over the school. I let it go. Oh, a story is one of the worst. Well, she is. Yeah, I mean, she's she's got some qualities. I'd have done the same. Sounds as if you caused the smelly situation and they responded accordingly. I didn't make the rules. Anyway, I can't work out how to get them back on my own. I don't think I know the necessary spells yet. I need someone, perhaps a selfless and talented fifth year, to help me. <laughs> I'll see what I can do. I'd appreciate the help. If you do find all of my gobstones, do come and see me again. I'll be back to playing Snake Pit and Jackstone by myself in no time. I mean, you didn't exactly say you wanted them back. You just said come see you. Mm -hmm. All right, let's do this. Nope, that's a pole. Can't, can't go through the pole. We can't apparate yet. I wonder if we're gonna be able to. That'll be so cool. That'd be really I better cool. keep an eye on the I guess we could look in the spoil, the, the spell stones. slots, and see what's in there. Oops. Akio. Well, that's one of Zenobia's gobstones. Hello, owl. I hardly see what all the fuss is about. And we we go we.
It's amazing how well I know the score after like three days. Yeah, I'll never know it. Real life me, I would get to I know it, but it would take so high long. places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. I could spend my life there. I would have trouble with all the hidden rooms. Oh, look at a kitty. Oh, it's a pretty kitty. Ugh. Platypus. You want a mole? No, I think it's a platypus. I think well, you may be right. It's gross, whatever it is. It's like a baby platypus. Someone really likes that kitty. Oh, we love a good kitty. What? We love a good kitty. Akio. No, I want to be like, yeah, we do, but I also just know you. <laughs> no, what are you talking about? There's a something over there. A bird, maybe? Oh, paper. Flying. <laughs> wrong trigger. Okay. Where are we going? Back this way. That's three balls now? Yeah, three balls. Mm -hmm. Come through it. Look out. Crestmore on a mission. Man on a mission, I was going to say, yeah. <laughs> when Crestmore's on a hunt, you get out of the way. I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gulpstones. Revelio. Accio. Not sure why the first one didn't hit, but I'll take it. Revelio. All oh, right. That scared me too. I thought I was gone forever. Akio. Damn, you're making good headway on those uh on those pages in Hogwarts. Field orders, are they called? Yeah. I don't know what they're for, but Rebellion. I'll write those. We haven't got to figure out what those are yet. No idea what this does. The heck? Are those the things from Star Wars? I don't know. They sure look like it. It's real ugly. And not a it's so ugly it's cute way. <laughs> no, because it's not cute. It's not cute. Handy resource indeed. Your fields are good. I'm most pleased to be included. Okay, Nisha. Turn go around. Very welcome. This is around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. Cedar. Mm -hmm. Rivet close. Mm -hmm. Rebellion. Mm -hmm. No. Go back. I passed it. Yeah. Turn around. Oh. Right there. Huh. Akio. Rebellion. Thank you. Goblet of Fire Casket. The Goblet of Fire rests within this ancient jewel-encrusted chest. The Goblet has served as a means of selecting champions for the Tri-Wizard Tournament since the contest's establishment in the late 13th century. I want to be in the Tri-Wizard Tournament. No, you don't. Nobody wants to be in the Tri-Wizard Tournament. I do. I am Magnet Crestborn. I have so much to play. That's the last of Zenobia's gobstones. Could end up like the last Hufflepuff her. that did the Tri-Wizard Tournament. Not here. In our timeline, not in theirs. Hogwarts Herbology Award. In recognition of exemplary skill in the field of herbology, Hogwarts bestows a special award upon seventh-year Hufflepuff Morale Garlic. Mirabel. Mirabel. From mandrakes to mistletoe and boobo tubers to bouncing bulbs. Her work with Flora has exceeded all expectations. Yeah, she's, uh, she's, she was the headmistress that was in charge of the, the place. That we just were. Bubble tubes? Um, with the devil snare. Oh, hell yeah. There's a corridor. Huh. Ooh, swab. swab. Oh, but it's a downgrade. But it's suave. Is 
Centaur Armor. This unique set of armor was created as a misguided peace offering to a centaur leader. The gift has spurned, or was spurned, and the messenger shot through the leg with an arrow. <laughs> that joke writes itself. The armor itself, battered with hoof marks, was later recovered and refurbished. I used to be a gift giver too, and then I took an arrow to the knee. <laughs> yep. Yep, they just they set that one up. Nice All right, to we're see going to friend. Good to see ya. Good fast travel. I could. We'll take some time. I know you want to get to it. I really do. Oh, <laughs> just about didn't keep up with me. I wonder if that's possible. I don't think so. It must can, have a mechanic to... Can I outrun the steps? You can certainly try. Certainly try. I'm a little sad at the lack of moving staircases. Because they all kind of move. But um, I understand that that's a, a mechanic that's like... Yeah. I want to see some floating ones. The ones that move up and down levels. What do you mean? The ones are like tire staircases that just move up and down the levels. But they don't disappear or anything. They just move up and down like elevators. Oh, there's the ones that move to different places. Yeah, yeah those are the ones I wanted to see. Um, but they... That mechanic would be difficult because then you'd be like waiting for the stair. And the novelty would wear off I mean, really quick. It should just be wherever I am. Oh, he's coming in that door. Better go there. Rebellion. Augre skeleton. This is a skeleton of an Irish phoenix or Augre. An intensely shy bird who can forecast the coming of rain and whose mournful cry was once believed to foretell death. Oh. And once one. Oh, it completed a challenge. I hope you've had more luck than I did tracking down my gobstones. Hello, Zenobia. I found all your gobstones. Really? I didn't think it was possible. However, did you do it? I'm Common amazing. Common sense and basic magic. Well, <clears throat> may I have my gobstones back? No. I'm afraid I've decided to keep them. them. That'll teach you to stink up your classmates. What? You'd keep my prize collection for yourself. Well, I'm the one that worked for them. So yes. Anyway. Find his keepers, I'm afraid. I knew it. You're just as bad as everyone else. I hate this school. Mm -hmm. You'll all be sorry when I learn some more spells. Oh, I think I just got my new mortal nemesis. Yeah, you did. One day, her and I are going to meet in the future and duel. I'll have forgotten who she is and she'll have grown so much. So powerful. But she still will not be able to contend with me. Rebellion. That was so mean. She's so sad. I understand she's sad. But she shall go stronger from this. Where am I going again? One day you'll say thank you. Ah, Bastion. Sebastian, there you are. There you are. You promised me an explanation for what happened in the three broomsticks. Hmm. Not many students have Victor Rookwood's attention. What was that all about? Did, did you didn't notice anything different? Seems he's working with Ranrock. Ranrock is after something I found at Gringotts. Ranrock? And when were you at Gringotts? Professor Fig and I ended up there after the dragon attack. It's quite the tale. Fig had this port key. A port key? To Gringotts? I'm not sure I follow. I barely follow myself, and I was there. Anyway, we ended up in an ancient vault where we found a map. That map leads to the restricted section. You can't be serious. Deadly serious. Totally Professor serious. Fitt has like you have that I'm not no telling a soul about any of this. I've probably said too much. Understood. Your secret's safe with me. Whatever it is. Thank you, Sebastian. You mentioned being clever enough not to get caught in the restricted section. And I am. 
Meet me outside the library tonight and tell no one. Deal. Thank you, Sebastian. I'll meet you later. <laughs>